It's always said happy and bright. And sunshine is on the theme. We have sunshine in abundance and love is in the air. We've gathered together this beautiful day and this beautiful garden. We join you, Elizabeth, and you, Mark, and Mary, according to the laws of this promise. And in this place of beauty that you've chosen for this day comes the culmination of the dreams that each of you have shared for yourselves. So it seems appropriate that this ceremony take place in this garden with all its beauty, a beauty but unlike the beauty of the love that you share with each other. Elizabeth and Mark, this is a very special day for you both, as it is for those who are gathered to share in this special day with you. This is very much a love filled time. You should come in the presence of family and friends to exchange vows and witness of your love for each other. These minutes to this hour and to this day represent the time of the love. Love that should go away. A love that can only grow with nurturing thoughts, actions, and commitment on the part of each of you, as well as on the part of those who love you and who share in your lives. Today, this ceremony will bring to fruition the many dreams and aspirations that you share. No doubt that you'll be thinking about continue to find qualities in each other that are important each to the other. Elizabeth sees in you, Mark, one who can always keep matters under control. She finds you loving and caring, and adds that being kind of cute didn't hurt either. <laughs> she finds a great sense of security with you and wants us to be with you. Mark finds you, Elizabeth, the one who is very interesting, possessing many wonderful qualities. He admires your ability to do anything and everything that you set your mind to. And he also finds you loving and caring and easy on his eyes. <laughs> Together you find a great measure of compatibility and comfort in each other. And you both enjoy an adventuresome spirit and enjoy new opportunities for adventure. Today, marriage is a partnership of two people, devoted one to the other. A partnership that is sustained by mutual love and understanding. Wedding is the occasion when two persons before witnesses publicly proclaim their love and declare their commitment to each other. For marriage was created for the companionship, the help and comfort of two persons, and for the continuance of family. And as you begin this new journey of life together, you do so as two individuals. But through your love, you will also be drawing closer and closer to each other. And yet, while unity and union are very much a part of marriage, there's no really inference that either of you should lose your individuality. There's rather the very strong suggestion that what you do as an individual can and will either enhance your life together or on the other hand can do it harm. But as you grow even more loving and in the maturity of marriage, it is patience and compassion, compromise and healing. And love is forgiving and forgiving. And love is everything that you share together because love is and always will be each of you. So let me leave you with these thoughts. That love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. Love is not rude. It is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. For love always protects. Always trusts. Always hopes. Always perseveres. Love never fails. May love always be the center of your lives together. As all of us gathered in this garden today, and indeed those beyond the reaches of my voice, wish you both all the very best on this new journey of life together as husband and wife. Congratulations and best wishes to you both. Now I ask if any person can show a just and sufficient reason why these two persons may not be joined in marriage, I can now declare the reason for their house from this time forward to keep their peace. Likewise, I require and charge you both. And if either you know of any lawful reason why you may not be joined in marriage or not to be third, I require that this would repeat after me and first of all, Mark. I solemnly declare I solemnly declare that I do not know that I do not know of any lawful reason of any lawful reason why I am Mark Brackett why I am Mark Brackett do not be joined in marriage do not be joined in marriage to Elizabeth Thomas Elizabeth Thomas I solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful reason, my eye, Elizabeth Douglas, will not be joined in marriage, to Mark Bradley.
part will you have this woman, Elizabeth, to be your wedded wife? Live together in marriage, will you love her, honor her, or keep her in sickness and death, and if so, answer my will. I will. Elizabeth, will you have this woman, Mark, to be your wedded wife, wedded husband? <laughs> 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 Live together in marriage. We love him, honor him, and keep him sick to send us, and if so, answer my will. I will. To the family and friends, may I speak these words. We have heard Elizabeth and Mark declare their intentions, and they've asked you to be witnesses of their commitment here this afternoon. By your presence here today, you are committed to accepting the responsibility for supporting, enriching, and encouraging Mark and Elizabeth in the new relationship into which they're about to enter. We're called upon to be thankful and experience happiness, to be understanding when you care, to support them in times of difficulty, and to at all times be caring for their well-being. Well, bring both your hands. Try to repeat vows, alternating as you have asked that we do. I vow to join with you. I vow to join with you. And to share all that is to come. And to share all that is to come. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To encourage and to inspire. To encourage and to inspire. I will laugh with you. I will laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. And to see that I vow to join with you. I vow to join with you. And share all that is to come. And to share all that is to come. To speak and to listen. To encourage and inspire you. I will laugh with you. I will laugh and cry with you. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. In all the circumstances. In all the circumstances. Of our lives together. Of our lives together. When our love is simple. When our love is simple. And when it is an effort. And when it is an effort. I promise to love you. In all the circumstances of our lives together. Our love is simple. And when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. To always hold you in highest regard. To always hold you in highest regard. To remain open to embarking. And to remain open to embarking. On new adventures together. On new adventures together. I promise to cherish you. To always hold you in highest regard. And to remain open to embarking. And to remain open to embarking. And to I call upon those present. I call upon those present. Witness that I am Mark Brackett. To witness that I am Mark Brackett. To you, Elizabeth Duffus. Take you, Elizabeth Duffus. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. From this time on. From this time on. I call upon those present. I call upon those present. To witness that I am Elizabeth Douglas. To witness that I am Elizabeth Douglas. Did you mark Brackett? Did you mark Brackett? To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. From this time on. From this time on. Let me have the rings. Exchange shall always be a reminder of the vows you made today. These rings are served in the nature of a symbol of eternity, signifying that love is everlasting. These rings are made of precious metal, not easily tarnished, have the quality of endurance, and represents the richness of life and the richness of love. These rings, your rings, represent the lasting nature of the love that you wish to touch. Elizabeth, take this ring. Elizabeth, take this ring. Which I give to you. Which I give to you. As a symbol and a pledge. As a symbol and a pledge. Of our never ending love. Of our never ending love. And commitment. And commitment. May this ring. May this ring. With which I wed you. With which I wed you. Constantly remind us. Constantly remind us. Of our vows made this day. Of our vows made this day. Elizabeth, this ring has been the third finger for some time. 
you know, to me about take this ring, which I give to you as a simple little pledge and a pledge of our never ending love and commitment. May this ring with which I love you possibly remind us of our vows to this day. Since you, Mark, and you, Elizabeth, have pledged yourselves to each other in this bond of marriage, and have witnessed your mutual pledge before family and friends and in my presence, declaring this by the giving and receiving of rings and the declaring of hands, and the authority vested in me and all for now to be husband and wife. May you enjoy together a lifetime of fulfillment, peace, contentment of mind as you day by day live to fulfill the promises that you made to each other. May your choice be as bright as the morning, your years of happiness as numerous as the stars in the galaxy, and your troubles with shadows of fate and sunshine of your life. Congratulations, and I'll see you all for a kiss for two or three. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Hi, Grandma! <laughs> 